All set. We are headed to Isle Paddleboards to meet with Mark Miller, one of the co-founders. I am stoked. Been waiting for this for a while. I think he's gonna have a really good story. All right, so as we wrap up here, um, we are going to do the final six questions here. These are all basically quick answers, but they are standard for all of the visitors that come on to the podcast. So first question for Mark, what are your favorite apps that are currently on your phone? <laughs> some of these could be work-related, some of these could be uh, just random, but basically I feel like apps are just so hard to find and it's all referral-based, so. You know what? Apps, does that include social media? Because <laughs> uh, <laughs> if it doesn't, you know what? I, I really, my phone's at this point always seems to be out of space <clears throat> and I've never really gotten into the apps. Nice. So, so for me, yeah, I do a light Snapchat, maybe do a light scroll of Facebook and, and no apps. Oh, well, let me, I mean, the app I, I do find myself using is Google Analytics. Oh, nice. So you can install it on your phone and track all your web, web analytics. That's and, a good one. And analyze in real time. So that's about it in the light social scroll, scroll the feeds. All right, so second one would be, I don't want to say favorite art, favorite music artist, but who is your kind of your most listened to right now in your Spotify, Pandora, iTunes world? I'm a huge, huge fan of Sirius Satellite, so I am a big fan of the fist pump, electronic music, so I find myself on on a BPM, the chill station, station 51, 52, 52, 52 yeah. <laughs> uh, just can't get enough. Always have loved the music and pretty much on that all day long uh, or when I'm driving. Number three, if you didn't start uh, IELTS up and surf, what would you be surf doing? Surf it's always surf. a tongue twister. Sorry. <laughs> what would you be doing? Wow, that's a great one too. Uh, you know, I'm not really sure. I'd probably be surfing and paddling, probably living somewhere um, tropical, probably Indonesia, have found something going on there, or or somewhere with good waves and, and tropical weather, and finding a career there, hopefully starting another business, I don't know. That sounds like someone who put all their eggs in one basket earlier and <laughs> didn't look back. And I'm hoping to find myself there <laughs> soon. <laughs> So we kind of already touched on it, but one tip for any young entrepreneur. Man, there's just such an endless sea of things you need to know now. But I would say, gosh, data and, and now having an online, if going the online route or direct to consumer e-com business is, is something really where everyone should be now if you're going to be selling a product, is understanding digital and the analytics and data so, you know, taking some data analysis classes, Google Analytics classes, really knowing how to pick apart and sift through data or using software to sift through data and make decisions because ultimately that's kind of the future of, of where the world's going now, just how to make sense of, of all the data to make business decisions. So the, the more you can learn about that space, I think you're, you're putting yourself light years ahead of, of everyone out there. We've asked everyone this one and we always get different answers, but what is success to you? Success to me is being on a catamaran uh, in a tropical area filled with paddleboards, surfboards, fishing poles, and pulling up on some perfect waves and nice fishing with some cold beers in the fridge <laughs> and uh, with really nothing nothing to do but maybe surf and paddle and fish and relax and figure out where you're going to sail to next. <laughs> it's a solid answer and isn't that what you're doing this weekend? <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately no, but it is something uh, sailing's caught my, caught my eye, especially catamarans lately, so uh, definitely trying to put together a future, future mission here, uh, set set sail. Hopefully, hopefully soon. Um, 
So that sounds like come on that. That sounds like you might have just given a little insight <laughs> on uh, what's next for Isle paddleboards. Catamarans? I don't want to spoil anything. All right, last question. Uh, why did you accept my request to do this podcast? <laughs> you want the honest answer? <laughs> well, uh, as a business owner, being in business for 14 years, um, even with spam filters, I get hundreds of emails a day. So Lex, uh, Tower, Stefan over there, uh, at least he answered you. Yeah. Um, most of them are pitches for something and there's just no time. So they all, 99.9, .9, either get caught by the spam filter or go to the trash. And uh, podcasting just seemed interesting to me. So obviously people, people love to talk uh, about themselves. <laughs> And so I just thought it'd be cool to kind of share, share some stories about the company. And, uh, and then I also wanted to find out a little bit about podcasting as well. So definitely had an interest there and in possibly advertising uh, in the podcast realm. And just knowing more about it's kind of a cool and growing space. So it was nice to get a little chat before the interview. Hey, what's up guys? Uh, really cool interview. I really enjoyed Mark taking the time. Uh, it was great seeing their offices. I think Isle Surf and Sup has a really cool thing going. They've obviously paid their dues in this industry, so I wish them the best. But as always, please subscribe to our YouTube channel as well as iTunes, Stitcher, wherever you watch the Vicariously podcast, please subscribe. If you have any questions or um, you want to be connected with Mark, just shoot me a direct message. My email is all on the YouTube site and on the website. So thanks a lot for tuning in. And oh, the episode will be on Stitcher, Google Play, iTunes on May 3rd. That is 5 dash three dash 2017 that's it that's all i got thank you very much for tuning in